out for today is called No Turkey for Thanksgiving. It's written by Jacqueline Jules and illustrated by Katherine Mitter. Now, no turkey for Thanksgiving sounds a little confusing, right? Because I bet a lot of us eat turkey for Thanksgiving. So we're going to read about someone that has a different Thanksgiving tradition. Here is the back cover. So it says, it's almost Thanksgiving and Tuyet is excited about the holiday and the vacation from school. Well, that sounds like you guys, right? There's just one problem. Her Vietnamese American family is having duck for Thanksgiving dinner, not turkey. Nobody has duck for Thanksgiving. What will her teacher and the other kids think? To her surprise, Tuyet enjoys her yummy Thanksgiving dinner anyhow, and an even bigger surprise is waiting for her at school on Monday. Kids from families with different traditions will enjoy this warm story about the right way to celebrate an American holiday. So we're going to read that together today. To get ready for Thanksgiving, Tuyet's class sang turkey songs. They made pinecone turkeys. They talked about pilgrims and Native Americans. See you on Monday, Mrs. Cook said when the bell rang. Have a great turkey day. Tuyet was excited about the Thanksgiving holiday. They would get three days off from school, but there was something important she had to talk to Mama about. Mama, Tuyet said as soon as she got home, we need a turkey for Thanksgiving. No, we don't, Mama smiled. We'll buy duck at the market. But everybody else will have turkey, Tuyet said. That afternoon, Ba Noi arrived from New York. Tuyet hugged her grandmother. We're having duck for Thanksgiving dinner. So I'm guessing that Ba Noi is either her name or that's the word for grandma in Vietnamese, right? Sometimes people call their grandma Nana or Nani or grandma, right? I know, Ba Noi said. We're using my recipe from Vietnam. Everybody else has turkey. Our family likes duck better. Ba Noi answered. Back home, Tuyet went to her bedroom. She pulled her pinecone turkey out of her book bag. Mama and Ba Noi don't know the rules about Thanksgiving, she told the turkey. Tuyet counted the money in her wallet. Twelve dollars. It might be enough to buy a turkey at the market. On Wednesday, Mama drove Tuyet and Ba Noi to the Saigon supermarket. Tuyet held her wallet in her hand. Inside the store, she saw all sorts of vegetables. She saw fish, pork, duck, chicken, beef, shrimp, but no turkey anywhere. Tuyet watched Bonnoy talk to the man at the counter. He handed her a package. This duck will be delicious, Bonnoy said to Tuyet. Tuyet put her wallet back in her pocket. The next morning, good cooking smells filled the house. Tuyet peeked into the kitchen. Soon, all kinds of food would be put out on the table, but there would be no turkey. She looks really nervous about that, right? She just isn't used to um, people doing different things, right? Especially because her teacher is calling it Turkey Day, and she thinks that it needs there needs to be a turkey. Tuyet ran to her room and brought back the pinecone turkey she had made in school. Now there is a turkey on the table, she said to herself. She felt a little better. Her cousins, Kimberly and Min, came over at three. They played tag outside until the grown-ups were ready to eat. Did you know we're having duck for Thanksgiving dinner? Tuyet asked her cousins. Yum, said Kimberly. I love duck. With spicy sauce, said Min. Mama called them inside for dinner. Kimberly and Min ran up the steps, but Tuyet walked slowly. Was she the only one who knew that Thanksgiving was Turkey Day? I'd like to give thanks, Daddy said when they sat down at the table, for our home and our family. For America, Bonnoy said, raising her glass. For all this good food, Min said, picking up his fork. I'm hungry. Everyone laughed and passed their plates to be filled. Tuyet had a little bit of everything, but she had seconds of the duck. She loved the spicy sauce and dark meat. 
When it was time to say goodbye, everybody hugged. What a great Thanksgiving day, Kimberly told Tuyet. It had been wonderful, Tuyet thought, with lots of good food and family fun. But what would Mrs. Cook say about eating duck on Turkey Day? On Monday morning, Mrs. Cook gathered her class on the story rug. How was your turkey day? she asked. Tyler raised his hand. My grandpa came. We played football. That's nice, Mrs. Cook said. Who else saw grandparents? Tuyet raised her hand along with other classmates. Who saw cousins? Mrs. Cook asked. Tuyet raised her hand again. Who'd like to talk about their dinner? Mrs. Cook looked around the room. Tuyet put her hand down. Tears burned her eyes. Is something wrong? Mrs. Cook asked gently. We didn't have turkey, Tuyet blurted out. We had duck. For a few moments, class was quiet. Then, Fong raised his hand. We didn't have turkey either, he said. We had noodles and chicken. We had lamb, Tarek said. We had roast beef, Jonathan said. We had enchiladas, Carolina said. We had tofu turkey, Amy said. Mrs. Cook smiled. It doesn't matter what you eat on Thanksgiving as long as you have a good time with family and friends. After school, Tiet hurried home. Mama, she called when she opened the door, I have a new name for Thanksgiving. In our house, we can call it Duck Day. And that is the end of our read aloud for today. I hope you learned a little bit about the different things that people might do for Thanksgiving. Just like how people eat meat, like turkey or chicken, Some people eat different types of meat, right? Maybe different types of birds like quail than the video we watched the other day. Or in this case, this family ate duck for Thanksgiving. Just because it's something different, something that you might not normally have, doesn't mean that it's wrong, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this story. No matter what you eat for Thanksgiving, I hope you guys have a great time with your family and friends. Happy Thanksgiving!